Hello everyone. Namaste. My name is Supriya Rak and recently I have completed my law graduation. I also have some of past work experience with Infosys, Bharati and I have been working as a freelancer for a naturopathy, event management, journalism and tourist guide assignments. I am 35 years old and today I am here uh, to share with you all and to express some of my point of views and uh, some of the thought process with respect to the subject as how women can become mentally and physically capable. Uh, I'm really grateful and thankful uh, to the uh, COPS Association and team uh, as they have given us uh, this wonderful opportunity to through this online state level speech competition uh, discussion platform and forum and uh, to let us be active participants of this process uh, this topic is not only important from the point of view of we all women and uh, our overall health but this is also a very important aspect for our families and society at large. This is also one of the very important directive uh, to uh, administrations at a local, state, national and international level and this is also one of the directive for governments uh, so that they can plan, act, strategize uh, their action plan schemes and conduct themselves accordingly. I think uh, while uh, we speak and take into consideration this point that how women can become physically and mentally capable, these two things are actually inseparable from each other. Uh, women, uh, when we talk about especially women, they need to take, uh, they need to focus, they need to take, uh, understand very well that uh, real health is actually the real wealth. Health is real wealth. Real health is the real beauty and uh, mental and physical abilities or capabilities are the aspects of their health or uh, ref reflections of their basic health and fitness. So while we talk about health and fitness, women need to prioritize and focus and give uh, comparatively similar importance to their own health as well. And they should also um, uh, eat proper, eat and consume proper diet. Uh, they should eat, they should take care of themselves uh, as the way they take care of their families, of their parents, of their kids, of their partners, of their beloved ones. So similarly, they, sh they too should eat and consume uh, fresh food. They should take proper sleep. They should also take uh, some of the, uh, uh, some of the, exercise therapies, they should properly focus and discipline their routine uh, with uh, regular exercise uh, regime in their uh, regular day-to-day -day, uh, lifestyle. They should also try to explore and embrace their vulnerabilities. They should try to explore some of the out outing activities like cycling, trekking, uh, uh, travel and tourism, uh, swimming, and they should also strive and uh, try to uh, explore themselves for some of the mental health aspects uh, with respect to their hobbies and interests like reading, writing, expressing their thoughts, artistic uh, expressions, dance, uh, and they should keep doing it so that they can uh, have their healthy uh, mindsets and they, sh they uh, and among them, all of us, we should try to uh, let them get well trained, uh, well educated about some of the basics of uh, health education, uh, proper food, a diet, basics of uh, fitness and uh, basics of financial requirements. They should also uh, uh, contain uh, bank accounts, they should also have some of the i cards, uh, their own debit cards, Aadhaar cards, uh, their business cards, they should uh, also possess uh, their own um, passport, driving license, so that uh, 
they are this this way they will feel confident and they can uh, you know spend their own quality alone time and they uh, will have uh, they will have some of the solitude phase of their life uh, this way women should not overthink of unnecessary uh, Uh, ex excessive expectations they should come out of stereotypes they should uh, fight back with uh, gender equalities injustices and violences so because of uh, for this they should be well educated of their legal rights and basics of legal aspects and certain uh, fundamental constitutional human human rights as well as some of the specific women rights so that they can uh, fight back uh, to get justice for themselves and for their own fellow uh, female uh, friends as well so while they are trying to maintain proper balance between their own uh, personal and professional uh, responsibilities uh, they should keep uh, doing some of the relaxation uh, therapies as well like music massage therapy um, some of the uh, uh some of the uh, special uh, nourishment uh, uh nourishment therapies so uh, while uh, concluding this session i would like to uh, quote here some of the lines of my of my marathi poetry under title hey nari shakti navya yoga chi tu sabla tu shakti daini manasvini tu manini manini tu shura hirkani तेज पुंज तू तेजस्विनी तुझी प्रतिभा अण अस्मिता ना रोखू शकेल येथे कोणी आता स्वावलंबी तू स्वयं सिद्धा तू स्वसंस्कारांची अखंड गाथा प्रेमळ माता तू लाडिक भगिनी तू प्रणयिनी तू सखी सहचरणी सौंदर्य साक्षात्कारी हे ललना तूच अन्नपूर्ण तू खरी प्रेरणा सर्वार्थाने सार्थक असा तुझा कर्तृत्वार्थ कोमल स्त्रीत्वाचे तुझ्या ममत्व ही आर्त तुझी समृद्ध कुशल नवनिर्मिती चतुराईची तूच चाणाक्ष युक्ती सप्तरंगी उत्कटतेचे तू सर्वात सर्व सर्वात सुंदर सजीव चलचित्र त्या निसर्गेश्वराचे सर्वांग सुंदर सचेतन शिल्प धन्यवाद थँक्यू ऑल द बेस्ट हॅव अ ग्रेट टाईम हेड